Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. My name is Fender Blackwolf, and in today's mod showcase, we are going to be taking a look at Lakeview Manor as it should be. Now, with this particular home, this is a very unique version of Lakeview Manor in the sense that it's uniquely designed. Because not very many Lakeview Manor homes or mods uh, are unique like this one. So when you first get the home, you have to first of all read the mod page because, you know, it's kind of a no brainer um, because the mod page really lets you know uh, what needs to be built in in and in, and in what fashion. Um, so, yeah, I also have um, this little neat little mod called. I think it's called Draco. I think it's called Draco Exterior. Um, they made a mod for uh, Heliarchan Hall, Winstead, and uh, Lake Fume. Um, but yeah, so um, with that in mind, with that being said, so. There's really not much on the outside or, or on the outside that's immediately apparent to us apart from the gates and stuff like that. Um, but actually, let's actually look outside. So over here you have your, I assume, is your chicken pin and your chicken coop and everything like that. So, you know, you have where they can kind of sit around and everything. Up here, you have a little hangout spot. Couple of fertile soil planters. Butterfly. A little hammock where you can kind of lay down. More fertile soil, an apple pie. Now, some things in this home are indeed uh, static, some of them are not. So do keep that in mind. You have what I would assume is a little well, a stable for your horse, a little shrine right over here. You have a smelter and then your little garden area. But yeah, um, obviously your workbench and your grindstone, obviously right there. So, without further ado, let us go inside the home and showcase this home. All righty. So let's go from left to right, shall we? Um, so you have your key holder storage. Right now it's empty, so I because I don't have anything. Um, you have um, your uh, static storage. You have a display case where you can put your stuff. Um, picture of Boethia. I'm assuming a picture of a tree in a marsh. I actually don't know where that is, technically speaking. You have more static storage. You know, you can kind of role play. Oh, yeah, you're just having some pie and some bread and some treats and stuff. You have an anvil, chest. A little, little chest. Weapon, weapon plaque. A little, nice little rug. Place to sit. Wardrobe where you can store sh stuff. And then you have Lakeview Display Guide. Another tree, which I'm not sure which one that is. Then you have your fertile soil. Then you have your cloaks, your helmets, and your boots and shoes and stuff. Very, very cool. 
And over here, you have a sh uh, not a shrine to Azura, but a statue of Azura. The Emerald Paragon, so you can put your Paragon here. More display cases. The door, the Dwemer puzzle cube. So there's not a shortage of stuff to put stuff in. So you have your Shrine of Akatosh, you have your Sapphire Paragon, your book, more bookshelf storage. You have your Shrine of Julianos, more bookshelf. And you have your Diamond Paragon, the most important important paragon because it allows you to get Ariel's shield or shield i believe um or is it the ruby paragon i'm actually not too sure i've never got i've never in all my year, years of playing skyrim i've never actually gone out of my way to get Ariel shield <laughs> and that's just you know for me personally so you have your fertile soil you have your weapon racks and weapon plaques more weapon racks and weapon plaques so in the bedroom the um um workbench will be right here and all you really need is two child's beds two child's chest and a double bed then you have your amulet of debella um holder right here and then you have all the other amulets so his clothes her clothes, wardrobe. You have like a couple of pillows where you could sit, maybe have some cheese and crackers. Bookshelves and bookcases. Well, bookshelves mostly for the bookworms of Skyrim. And then wardrobe, wardrobe, and then the mirror, mirror appearance changing mirror, which is always a neat, neat little feature. Now, this one, uh, this tub actually undresses you. So if you have particular mods, you know, that might suit your fancy, but, you know, wh whatever. Um, but, um, yeah, it undresses you and it actually cleans you. It actually cleanses you. So, which is always nice. It gives you a buff. I don't know what the buff is offhand. You know, let... It's a nice little chess area. Chess board. Need more stuff. Oh, okay. So if you hover over it. So I'm assuming this is yours. Oops. And this is the bathroom. I want to close this. Nice. And this is, I believe, either your, either the bard's bed or the follower's bed. I think this is the follower's bed. Pretty sure. And then there's the, um, uh, what's it called? Um, card game. If you wanted to play some cards. Now, this is the Bard's bed, uh, bedroom. It's kind of arcade, honey. Consume the honey if you want, but why would you? And sugar. So yeah, like I said, some things are um, static, some things are not. So do take care if you know you're living in here. See, like this, this is not static. Use the oven if you wanted to, and use the oven I, I don't believe i like it i actually like this oven this actually oven is actually pretty cool and we'll go down in the actually no now 
all you really need down in the base or, or cellar is a child's um, training dummy. That's all you need down here. Because if you decide to job, adopt a child, you will need that. This is required. I mean, not technically required, but, you know, food for thought. So you have the display guide two, you have class armor, class armor and weapons, stall room armor, weapons, dragon armor and armor, arms and armor, Nordic, Ebony, Daedric. Very cool. Then you have a workbench, grind, another grindstone, armor storage, weapon storage, Forge Master's fingers you could put here. Then you can put Ariel's shield up here. I don't know where you would put Ariel's bow, actually. I think I. And then you can put Ruth right here and Isgamore's shield if you have it. Then firewood, ingots. Then elven storage or displays, dwarven displays, steel displays, orcus displays. More weapon racks. I could have sworn you could put Ario's. Oh, there it is. Okay. No, shrine. No. Okay, here we go. There we go. It's right. It's right by Ariel's hip. And then a mannequin. Now, th I th I believe this is. I presume, or presume that this is your treasury area i don't use this home very often but i presume this is it where you would store all your trip yeah it's kind of like a treasury vault kind of area so very 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 cool anyways let's go back upstairs oh, what's this oh And up here so this goes back out to the um area where i showed you before so here you have your enchanter area your staff enchanter area all your different your book displays bookshelves your staves place to sit Journals. Very cool. Then you have kind of like a, I don't know, like a study area. And then this is pretty much your alch alchemy station, I think. Yeah, it's your alchemy station. But before we go up there and in the episode. This is the children's bedroom, which are only two, I think. I'm pretty sure. This is her bedroom. If you decided to adopt a girl in, in Skyrim. Oh, look at the meeting pie. And then this is his bedroom. Honestly, this is actually the coolest bedroom there is. I've never seen a bedroom quite designed like this, which makes it inch even more interesting. All right, last time. Uh, 
Come on. Bruh. Well, anyways. Anyways, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's what it looks like. So it's... Um, I don't know why it's so laggy up here. Anyways, let's go back inside. Sorry for the lag, guys. You know, it's... It is what it is. It's even lagging here. What the heck? But anyways, well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm also doing a Let's Play with this character. Um, if you're curious, um, I've been starting to slowly pump out videos again. Um kind of getting back into the swing of things so um apart from the lag in this in, in in this in that particular area it's not too bad if you you know obviously with guys like people with better pcs obviously i think they could handle it with a smooth frame rate i just can't um even without an enb and that's what i'm not doing i'm not running an enb so imagine imagine what would happen if i had an enb on just food for thought Anyways, guys, I'll catch you all in the next time. Make sure to join the Discord if you wanted to keep up to date with all my uploads. Uh, if YouTube doesn't um, uh, uh, notify you to uh, when every time I go live, every time I upload a video, my doors, my my Discord is always the best place to be. You don't have to. It's but it's there in the description box. Um, if you want to. So anyways, I'll catch you all next time. Bye guys.